Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to figure out what is the best way to attach one steel piece inside of bigger one. We have the thread locker or glue method, the easiest one. Then we have the reasonable press fit. It's like two large to fit there. Mm. So you can either press it in, but today we are not going to do that. Because this is hydraulic press channel and we don't use hydraulic mm. press. <laughs> I don't know. We are going to heat these up and then drop these in when they are large enough because they are hot. And we have 0.06 millimeter like press fit mm -hmm. and then unreasonable 0.15 millimeters. Mm. This is ChatGPT's recommendation and this is my dad's recommendation. Mm. We can see which is the better one. Yeah. I think we can go shortly look how these parts are made. It was quite challenging to make them. <laughs> and it took a long time. Because I wanted to them to be like exactly the dimensions that I want. So we can get the three samples here. And I was really lucky. I had perfect materials just laying around. Uh, Axel size is about 150 millimeters in diameter. And then the like outer parts were about 190 millimeters the outer diameter so pretty good size and i decide to machine the diameter for the axle before cutting it into pieces uh, this is much faster because you don't have to like measure things and set up the lathe more than once just let it run the whole whole way at one go and it's actually not even that important what is the exact diameter here as long it's the same for the whole length and then I cut the pieces the outer parts I machine one by one because it's really hard to machine a long hole because like the tool if it's too long it starts to be wobbly and it's not so accurate anymore so the short sturdy tool gives the best result and I tried to make this really accurate so I used mi micrometers and even did some like hand polishing at the end. It's really hard to like hit 100 of a millimeter with just like lathe. Usually you have to grind it slightly to be exactly where you have to be. And also this gives nicer uh, surface finish at the end. With the glue, I wasn't so accurate with the glued parts and I didn't grind the hole because if it's too slippery, I think the glue doesn't attach so well. And this was around five hundredths of a millimeter cap in diameter, so about two hundredths of a millimeter on each side. So it was pretty hard to line and get it straight in. So I cheated by pushing it with the press, but it didn't mess it up. You see at the end it worked just fine. So now everything is done and time to heat it up. As you see the gluing part was quite easy. It's a bit tighter than I was hoping. I was aiming to be about 0.05 millimeter cap on each side. It was about half of that, so it was pretty difficult to get it in. And in the perfect world, you should use thread locker that is meant for a cap that you have. Usually if, if it's sold as a thread locker, it says like it's meant for small or big threads like these screws or these screws because the bigger the thread the bigger the gap between the bolt and nut mm. and this is meant for pretty small screws but that's that's still tighter than even the small screw and the nut so it might not be perfect but it is what it is and then time to heat things up master of measuring yeah hanna is master of measuring I'm master of setting everything on fire. Yeah. It should be pretty cool when it's like around 400 degrees Celsius. Okay, the paint is pretty important. It's uh, 37 here Celsius and 115 from the black, black paint. And it's because the radiation It's actually it's black body radiation, so if the piece ain't matte black, then it's not accurate at all. Luckily I remember that thing. Yeah, that was Hannah's, Hannah's notification. It looks somehow really hot. I'm not sure is this working at all. I think it's pretty close. Hot in here. I'm going to do a quick test. How much larger is it? 
it's already like two, 0.2 millimeters larger. So in theory, that already would uh, go in quite easily, but uh, I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to heat it slightly more. <laughs> Okay, now it's about half a millimeter larger than when it's cold. Infrared shows 250 Celsius, but I don't trust it. It's hot as hell. So now this should just slide in. Nice! And now when it cools down, it's not going to come out without press. Yeah. That was really satisfying. Nice. Okay, they are now both about 100 degrees Celsius according to this. So when I lift this up, they should be stuck. Ta-da! Okay, then the next one. Um, there is now like maybe, maybe one tenth of a millimeter. <laughs> It's not much. Like slack between this and this, so let's heat it more so we don't get stuck. Tähän näyttää ihan saatana kuumalta, kyllähän sinne menee. That's finished and translates that it's now adequately hot and it's going yeah. to fit. Let's see at least. Oh oh. Shit fuck. Oops. <laughs> Huh. That was pretty tight. That was exciting. Huh. Is it all the way in? I think it is. Okay, they are now all done. Ready to be pushed out. We have done a lot of work that is going to be completely meaningless. <laughs> because we are going to push them out now when yeah. we have attached them to together. Yeah. But we let them like settle now. Let's go grab a coffee. Coffee. Okay, first we have the glued one, and I'm going to say five tons. I say four. Hmm. We are pretty goddamn cool. It was four and a half. Really? Yeah. Interesting, you can see the clue. No, five, yeah, and, five and a half. But we were both still really mm. good. Check, you can nicely see like how the clue oh, has been it's there. it's been really like, yeah, it's, it, it has got white. Yeah, I was wondering, is there any clue like, because it mm. was such a small cap. There is pretty good amount of clue bean. And coating with the clue, Good that these are completely fine. They are not like being destroyed at all. Mm. Any scratches or anything. So you could just swipe the glue away, put new glue in, and this will would still work. Mm. Let's see is that the uh, case with the with the shrink fitted parts. Mm. Those might make scratches when they come mm. out. Okay, and this is interesting. Uh, there is about 350 bars of pressure between the parts. And that's going to generate about 100 tons of like crushing force on the axle. And depending on the surface finish, it's going to maybe need around 15 or 20 tons to get it out. That's all not me, it's chat GPT. Okay, it looks pretty nice, but oh. what was the result? Only six and a half tons. But it might be because we had like really shiny and mm. like sanded down surfaces, so they were probably like mm. more slidey than your mm. typical like machined parts. That's quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> That's going to hold quite many parts, parts together. Okay, this sucker is too hot still. Hanna, open the door. Ah. 
Luckily we have this thing called Finnish winter. It's cold but not much snow. I can make this art piece here. Cooling method. Yeah. Really, really nice art piece. You are so talented. Yeah. I think this is ready actually. No. Yeah, really, really nice. Oh. Nice. Okay, now it's cooled down. And there should be over 800 bars of pressure between the parts. And that's going to generate 255 tons of force. Uh, prediction is from ChatGPT that it's going to be 40 tons to push out. But as we saw, we have pretty slippery surfaces, so I think it's only 20. Uh, my guess is 15. Oh. What? <laughs> fuck! Kitty fuck! <laughs> Okay, there is a lot of scratches. Okay, this is good. Good, like it's, it was 83 wow. tons. <laughs> we were so wrong. No, we weren't wrong. Uh, this is the reason why you shouldn't uh, use this type of attachments. Uh, it, it got stuck. It's like completely fucked up. <laughs> so it, it, wa it, like, it wasn't trying to get out. When we started to push it, it just gets stuck. Uh. And then when it was stuck, then we had to push it out. Mm. And that's why it was so much more. Uh, if you don't want that your parts look like this, you <laughs> shouldn't use like... Yeah. You shouldn't like <laughs> use this kind of shrink fits, yeah. but stay to like one third of this. This is like really interesting. What has happened here? It's fucked up. I think this was great result. Yeah. Great result. Yeah, but I think our work here is done. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.